Well, I get the old chapeau on. Holy shit. She's friggin' chilly out there. And it's snowing. Son of a bitch. Started snowing yesterday and uh, pretty much hasn't stopped since yesterday, but I don't know if you can tell. There's only a light dusting of snow on the ground, so it's pretty much been snowing like that out, out since yesterday. Like, just a few flakes and stuff, not really anything too serious, but I was hoping that it would hold off a little bit longer, but I guess, you know, for people that are in the Christmas spirit, there's some snow for you. And a couple of days ago, I picked up these two scanners, and these were freebies. This one's a weird little thing, pretty small. I can fit it in my jeans pocket. You know, you get a bunch up that stupid cord, but but anyway, it's a Pentax. I'll let you guys read the the name of it if you can. DS Mobile, USB, whatever. So uh, anyway, I plugged it into my netbook, which is still the only thing I have right now to do any internet stuff on. Uh, so, I plugged it into the netbook, and my netbook's running Windows 7, and it was a no-go. She didn't work. It, it was recognized, like tried to install drivers, but I don't think it's compatible with Windows 7, because it's probably about four or five years old. So anyway, it was worth a try. But when I get my monitor, I'm going to plug it into the Windows XP computer and go online and see if I can find some, some XP drivers for it. And maybe I can possibly find some Windows 7 drivers for it. I just haven't really searched all that hard for them yet. And then this one. This one is a really nice little scanner. It's kind of a another weird one, sort of like this one. This one's weird, and this one's kind of weird. And the reason I say that is kind of, sort of, because when you look at it, at first you wonder, where in the hell do you plug the power supply? Of course, no power supply or USB cord came with it, because I get it for free, and uh, usually you don't get all your shit you don't, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Usually you don't get all your uh, power cords and all that stuff with things for free, but, but, you know, I was looking it over and I said, geez, where in the hell do you plug that thing? There's got to be a place for a, for a power cord. But I looked it up online and nope. No power cord at all. It's powered and uh, it transfers data with that USB port. Kind of weird. I wouldn't think there'd be enough power coming from a USB port because it's only 5 volts. And something this size you'd think would need more than 5 volts, but I guess maybe they step up the voltage maybe to 12 volts or something to run it. I don't know, but kind of odd. Anyway, I guess I should go and get something done, and I'll talk to you guys later.